Java access modifiers, the three most boring words in the English language. I'm gonna show you what Java access modifiers are today, and they're actually not as bad as you think. Hey, what's up, I'm Alex. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I make a Java tutorial just like this one every single week. I've got like 30, 40 Java tutorials just like this one on my channel. So if you're new here and you might be interested in seeing a new one every week, then consider subscribing. So first, we're in Eclipse. Um, I'm just gonna go to File New Java Project to start it off. I'll call it like Access Fun, hit Finish, open it up, and we're gonna create two packages here. So on the source folder, go to New Package, and we'll call this like Package 1. Right click on Source again, and go to New Package again, and we'll call it Package 2. And this is all about setting up and learning what these access modifiers are gonna do for us. So in package one, we'll go to a new class, and we'll call it access one. We'll make another one called access two, say access two, and then hit this public static void main checkbox, hit finish. And then the last one in the second package, go to file new class, and we'll call this one Access 3, just like that. Close out Access 3, and we'll just look at 1 and 2 right now. So right now, this Java file and this Java file look a little different. This one has this main method in here, and this one doesn't. The only reason we're doing that is so that we can see what these access modifiers are going to do for us. Say Access 1 is going to act like a clock. It has some data. It's got hours. It's got minutes, but all that information is practically useless if it can't share it between other files. Access modifiers let us give access to other files about the data. So we can create some integers here, say hours and minutes. Say int hours equals say three. And we've got some minutes here, say equal to 47. There are four types of Java access modifiers. The first one, I'll just write a comment, is default. The second one is public. The third one is private. And the last one is protected. Each of these changes access for different files, but we're gonna start at default. The default is what happens when you don't do anything. And since we did int hours here and int minutes here without doing anything else, it's using the default access modifier. So if we save it, and try to access it through access two by creating the access one object. So say access one, a equals new access one, just like this. We can get the data, the hours and minutes from this access one file by now just typing a dot, and then you'll see hours and minutes. You'll also see these green circles. These are just methods that are built into every Java class. So these are nothing special, but we do see these hours and minutes from this file. So I can just type hours now and print that to the screen. And we should get three. Yeah, and we've got that three there. If I copy this and put the minutes on minutes, then we'll get three and 47, the data from this file. And that's with the default access modifier. That lets everyone see all data. There aren't any restrictions. Everyone can see it. This is default. Now let's move on to public. To use these other three access modifiers, you have to put them in front. So for default, we didn't put anything in front, but for the other access modifiers, we have to put them in front. So we'll just say public for each. Now, if we save and run it, it does the exact same thing. If we remove these, and then put that dot again to bring it up, we see the hour minute, hours and minutes again, except now they're these little green circles. They weren't blue triangles like before. The blue triangle means a default access modifier, and this green circle is the public. It might be different on different IDEs, but in Eclipse, this is how they do it. What you need to know about public is that it's pretty much the same. So the only difference between default and public is that public you write it in front. 
It sort of helps you keep track. And this works the same across packages. So access one and access two, these two files were in the same package or folder. If we go into this other folder, package two, we can do the same thing. So I can just copy and paste that over. Notice how it auto-generated this import statement going into package one and the file access one to bring that code into this program. If we save and run this, then we'll get three and 47, even though they're in different packages. So we went over default, we went over public, and now let's do private. So let's change these to private and see what happens. As soon as we did that, we got some errors in the other two files. This is because they no longer have access. We changed the access from public, everyone can see it, to private. Only access one knows about hours and minutes. This doesn't even know that they exist. So if we do dot, we don't see any hours or minutes in here. So that's what private does. It keeps it private to just this file. Lastly, we have protected. So if I change this to protected, protected, and go to access two, if we do a dot, then we see hours and minutes again. So now they have little, uh, a little yellow diamond. If we click it and do hours and minutes, save and run it. Oh, I'll fix some errors in this one. Let's delete that. We run access two then we still get the minutes and hours. And that's because they're in the same package. If it's protected, it gives access to everything in the same package. But if it's in a different package, then it doesn't have access. So if I do a dot in the access three file, which is under different package completely, it doesn't even know about it. But if I do a dot again here, a dot hours, it does. So protected changes access based on what package you're on. But there's also one very important part about protected. It only lets other packages know about the data inside of it if it's related to the original class. So if access three is related to access one, then it should be able to see it. Another way of saying this is if access three extends access one. This means if access three is a subclass of the original. I'm not gonna talk about that too much today, but it just basically means they're related. If I now do access one, it still gives errors because we can't get the original still. It has to be accessed through the subclass. So if I change this to access three, then everything is fine and dandy. And we can do the same thing inside of access two now. We can get access one and access three. If something different, then it does both. I'll just make this a little less confusing now. I know I'm doing a lot. And this works for methods as well. So if we have a public method um, that gets hours, get hours, and it returns the hours. Then in access two, we can instead do a dot get hours now. And that will call that code and return the number of hours, just a different way. If we did nothing, then that's the default access modifier and it'll act just like public. If we do private, if this is a private method, then we can't, we don't have access to that anymore. But if it's protected, protected, then we have access to it because it's in the same package. But if we try to do this inside of access three here, change that to three, then we can, even though it's in an other package because access three is related to access one by doing this extends and I'll run it. Yeah. So we'll go over all the Java access modifiers one more time. We've got defaults, which is nothing. And that's basically public. Everything can see it. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention this. Defaults gives access to everything in that package. 
but not to the other packages. So you can see now, since we don't have anything in front, it's the default, it won't let package two see any of it. But if we change each of these to public, 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 and now even things outside of the package can see it. So default is access within the package, public is access everywhere across all the packages, private is only the file, so I can do private, we'll do private together, change all these to private. And now nothing else can see it. And protected, the last one, gives access within the package. And if it's accessed through a subclass by doing extends the original. So I hope this was helpful on Java access modifiers. If it was, please leave a like. Share with a friend if you think it might help them. I know I struggled a lot with these, so it might be useful. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.